Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. We have something super exciting today. I am here at Gamersaurus Rex at Upper Thompson in Singapore and we are doing the special Warhammer 40k crossover with Magic the Gathering Commander decks. Let's go! Alright, so this is Gamersaurus Rex and I'm standing here with one of the owners of the shop. I'll let him introduce himself. Hi, uh, I'm Nick and I pretty much run a lot of the operations of the store and I play a lot of Warhammer 40,000 and some magic. Some magic. Some magic. Some magic. We have been here for six years. Uh, we used to be across the road. Warhammer is one of our core products in the store. We are also one of the most famous stores in Singapore when it comes to Warhammer mm -hmm. as, as a game. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And that is exactly why we are here today. Uh, in partnership, of course, with Wizards, we're doing the Warhammer 40k Commander decks. And what is your experience with Magic? I may have played some competitive Magic in my time. <laughs> may have, you may have. May have, may have. right. Uh, what about Commander? Do you play Commander? Uh, I don't really play Commander. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's find someone who plays Commander. <laughs> Alright, so I found someone else who works in the shop and this guy plays Magic. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. Hi, I'm Shagran, as well as classmate. Yes, ex-classmate. We, we actually go back to primary school, right? I primary think. school, yes. Uh, locally here, I'm also known as Redzus. That's just like the game name. I have been at this shop for about 10 years, although not work. I haven't worked here uh, all that time. Uh, we're probably the best place for Warhammer in Singapore. Yeah, there's Warhammer games almost every, at least every day. Uh, and yeah, I, unlike my uh, colleague Nick, Boss. play, yes. Uh, I exclusively play Commander. Oh, you play Warhammer as well? I also play Warhammer, yes. Okay. Uh, I am a servant of the Eightfold Path. So what do you think about this crossover between I Warhammer? I think it is incredibly amazing. Alright hey guys, so today I am playing the new Grixis Commander, Abaddon the Despoiler. And this deck is basically all about Cascade because he is something to do with chaos and like destroying stuff and letting the galaxy burn. So that's what I'm doing today, I'm burning galaxies. Hi, my name is Aaron and I'm from SGAG. Uh, I actually have not played Magic in a very long time. I used to play Warhammer as well, so both of these games are games that I used to love. and. I still, I still really like them a lot, so seeing them both come together for this Commander deck is something that's really exciting. Today I'm going to be playing the Swarm Lord. He's the commander for the Tyranid deck, and basically what he does is that every time he dies, he gets stronger. I get stronger, so I'm, I'm ready, man. If these guys want to kill me, I'm just going to get stronger. Alright, what's up? This is Mike from Power 98. Huge, huge magic fan, by the way, and super excited to also uh, be a part of the 40k Deathmatch, okay, so I am the uh, <laughs> representing the Imperium, the good guys in the game, of course, and the commander of the Imperium is Inquisitor Greyfax, who, by the way, has the ability to just kind of like tap out anybody that I don't like, just put them out of action in the board, right? So very powerful and also clearly got to fight for truth, justice, honor against all these, uh, you know, bad guys over here. Hi, my name is Elliot, I'm a local comedian, and uh, today I'm playing Zeragan, the Silent King. Uh, today I'm going to be representing Necrons and uh, his ability is really cool. Every time he attacks, he's going to mill stuff into the graveyard and I can actually uh, get vehicles up and running really, really fast. So beep beep, monolith incoming. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Quintessential MTG channel. My name is Esmond and today we are doing this really special Warhammer 40k decks. Hi, uh, I'm Elliot and today I'm going to be representing the Necrons. Beep, boop. 
I'm Aaron, and I'll be commanding the Tyranid Swarm. Hey, anyway, my name is Mike, and I'm going to cleanse uh, evil from the world, the universe, all right? Because these guys got to go. I'm not evil, I'm a force <laughs> of nature. Yeah, so we are playing with a bunch of really fun people today, and today we are actually at the Gamosaurus Rex shop here in Upper Thompson. Uh, these guys specialize in 40k Warhammer, it's always games going on, but of course they also do other games including Magic the Gathering. And a big shout out of course to all the patrons, thank you for your support of this show, of this series. If you want to be a patron, go check out the patron page, get early access, you get uh, access to spell table games, and of course free signed merch. If you want to get some merch, you can of course head over to the Quintessential Commander web store. We have t-shirts and playmats available, international shipping. And finally, for all of you who subscribe, like and comment on these videos, thank you so much. Um, every single comment makes a big difference in the algorithm. <laughs> true that, true. So, let's get into the game. The despoiler will start first, I hope. Oh no! Oh! oh yeah. no, we go with the All right, Elliot. Runs. So, I will draw a card. Boop, boop. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to play a Reliquary Tower nice. as my first card. And I will tap it to play a Way Forest Bubble. Oh my gosh. Yes, so. Watch out guys, I'm going to be ramping as black. So, one of the best turn one plays you could make. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Okay, uh, for my turn, I'll draw up first. Nice. I am going to put down a Terramorphic Expanse. Oh. Yeah, so then I will tap it to sacrifice it. Oh. I, I want to get a forest. Mana fixing, yes, eh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So I'm going to put a, my forest in, it comes in tapped, and I think that's going to be it for my turn. Alright, let's go. Let's draw a card. Um, I'm actually going to play planes. <laughs> planes? Yes, just the planes. Shiny planes. Uh, shiny, shiny planes. Shiny planes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, and with that, yeah, I think I'm good. Think oh, I'm good. wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's really, he really <laughs> meant it. So, wait, wait, wait. So everybody remember this, okay? So later when you want to attack me, okay, remember how friendly I played it at the start. How right? powerless you were. Yeah, how Okay then, I will go to my turn. Okay. I will draw. And I think I'll do the exact opposite of you, Mike. I'm going to start with a Swamp. Oh. Just the black land. Mm. Right, I'm going to tap it. Ooh. And I'll cast Dark Ritual. <gasps> no! Oh so, my gosh, you got Dark Ritual on turn one. This guy. So, <laughs> this deck. Now, instead of one black mana, I have three black mana. I feel like it's rigged. It's rigged <laughs> the deck. Turn one, Dark yeah, Ritual. Exactly, exactly, cards, exactly. Guys. What are the odds? Right. And then with that three mana, I'm going to play a Worn Power Stone. Oh, oh, no. Power Stone. So it's an artifact that enters tap, and basically I can tap it to add two colourless mana. Dang, he ramped on turn one to... I mean, it's a, it's a bad soul ring, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, That's it, that's all I'm doing actually. Okay, in my turn, I will untap, I will draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play a Swamp first okay. for my land for the turn. This is not looking great, guys, I'm going to say. Uh, by tapping two, to play a Mind Stone, I too can oh ramp. Gosh, that's yes. so much better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's all, I'm tapped out for the turn, so I'm going to pass it over to Aaron. So I'm going to draw my card. Okay, nice. I'm going to put down a mountain. Okay. With that mountain, I am going to play an Arcane Signet. Oh my gosh. Everyone's yeah, ramping. Everyone's We're all ramping, ramping up, guys. Except Mike. Except, Except Mike. Mike. <laughs> Except Mike. <laughs> yeah, and then I think what are you I do? am good. Okay, let's draw a card. Oh dear. Okay, so I will play an island. Nice. Oh. And then I'll tap these two and bring in an Inquisitorial Rosette. Oh. It's an artifact equipment. Whenever a quick creature attacks, I create a 2 2 white Astartes Warrior, which, by the way. Oh, oh nice. look, equipment that generates, guys? Okay, we're good. All right, nice. I will untap my three mana. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, wow, flexing. I will draw. <laughs> Uh, Alright, I'll play a Mountain for turn, and then with my 4 mana... Why show off? I, <laughs> I will play a Dark Apostle. It's a 3-3 three, three Astartes Warlock, and for 3 mana I can tap it, and the next non-creature spell I cast has Cascade. Ooh. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll untap, I'll draw my card for the turn. Oh, watch him and know it, it's not great. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> I'm going to play a Swamp this turn, and it's time to bring in... Uh, the king himself. Oh, oh that was a, the yeah. silent king. 
So his ability is he has flying, yeah. of course, yeah, right. uh, but his will be done. Whenever he attacks, I will mill three cards off the top of my deck and I put an artifact creature or vehicle card from among the cards milled this way into my hand. So I'm going to find more cards. Buster. So card advantage. And he's card flying. Advantage. He's just going to stay here for now. Hey, can't attack. So Aaron, it's over to you. I'm just going to draw my card. Okay, now I'm gonna start my turn by putting down an island. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna I'm gonna do tyrannid things. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna tap three mana to put in the shadow in the warp. Wow, what? it's it's an enchantment okay. that the first creature spell that I cast each turn costs two less, and whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn. Shadow in the Warp deals two damage to that player. Uh oh! Wow, that's so strong. That is, uh, it's pretty crazy. I don't know why I put this target on my back. Now, yeah. now that I've put it out, I kind of regret it a little bit. Okay, Ellie, you know what to do. I'll well, I'm I'm in black, so I'm not going to destroy any enchantments today. Me too, man. I'm in Grixis. Yep. So uh, hey, it's up to <laughs> you. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, so that's I'm gonna cool. use a uh, one more mana to play a Biofagus. Oof. Yeah, so Biofagus is a 1-3 creature, and uh, if I tap it, I can add one mana of any colour. If this mana is spent to cast a creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one counter Dang. on it. Strong. Mike feeling the mana envy. <laughs> no, yeah, very much so. So, mana please. Alright, so then I'll, I'll end my turn there. Okay. okay. I'll untear. Good luck, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, and... Okay. Okay, so I'll play a Sunken Hollow. Um, it actually arrives. I'm tapped right now. Alright, so clearly still just biding my time. <laughs> Alright, then. Making enemies. Uh, I'll add that. And I will draw for turn. Okay, I will play a land for turn. It's an island. So I have all three colors. I will tap five. And play Abaddon the Despoiler. So it's a 5 5 with Tremble. And during my turn, spells I cast from my hand with mana value X or less have Cascade. Where X is the amount of life my opponents have lost this turn. So since I can't get rid of enchantments, I will attack the guy with an enchantment. Oh no! <laughs> uh, yeah, Aaron. The Dark Apostle is a 3-3 coming at you. That's nasty. So I'll, I'll take the damage, I'll take the damage. Okay, then, that's just 3 damage. Alright, the Hive Mind remembers. The Hive Mind Each part remembers. of us that has been attacked will, rem <laughs> will, rem will remember. That is true, that is true. That's true. And I'll pass it then. Alright, untap time. Let's go to the draw. I play a another Swarm. Uh, and I will move to combat. You also can't get rid of enchantments. I can't get rid <laughs> of enchantments. <laughs> but uh, I need a. I like even distribution. Yes. So as uh, when it's coming uh, for you. What? Uh, okay. When I attack, I will first mill cards off the top. So, yeah, so three cards, right? One, two, and three. Nice. Uh, I nice. actually don't get anything out of this. Yes. Um, so I just lost three cards. Okay. Fine. Life goes on. That's great. That's okay. Great. But three damage still yeah, coming. So away. I can't block. I will take three commander damage. Okay. Yeah. I will tap two to cycle my polluted Maya. Oh. So I'll discard it Ooh. and draw a card. Sure. Oh, mistakes were made. So I will pass the turn. <laughs> and then we will draw a card here. Oh wow. Uh, I'm gonna start off my turn by putting down another forest. So with the shadow and the warp. Uh, my Exo Queen that I'm gonna play is gonna cost two less. So I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, colorless, and then one red. And it has the ability Bioplasmic Barrage. When Exo Queen Exo Crying enters the battlefield, it deals X damage to each player and each other creature. So it's gonna deal five no! damage, and basically, kaboom, what? guys! It's gonna blow everybody up. Oh, and it's an 8-8, eight, eight, by the way, because I used the, the Biofagus. Well, Biofagus. Um, okay, hang on. So, because oh. X is 5 or more, Ravenous will trigger, you oh, also draw a card. I do, right. I do draw a card. So, let's go with uh, that. Okay, so it comes with 6 plus 1 counters and does 6, well, 5 damage to everything else. Yes. So... Including your stuff. Yes. Right. Including me and my stuff. Yeah. Okay, and all of us take uh, 5 damage. Yeah, so, I'll just end my turn there. Yes, you've done enough. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Truly... <laughs> I draw for the Imperium. I'll play a Plains card. Okay. Tap all four of them. Okay. And bring in Inquisitor Greyfax. Very nice. Hey, finally, some play. You can't see this, but Inquisitor Greyfax is carrying a sword and a can of Bacon. Okay. <laughs> to spray this uh, dude in just a bit, yeah. I see. <laughs> okay, uh, my turn? Yes, no, we're good. Okay, let's go. I will untap. 
my empty board. I will draw. Very sad, very sad. Alright, so land for turn, I'll play a tap Swift Water Cliffs. Uh, when it ETBs, actually, I will gain one life. Ooh. So I'm up to 33. And then, I think I will tap 5. Just a Herald of Zinch. Oh, Herald. Whatever that is. It's a demon with flying. 3-3 three, three, with Cascade. Wow. Let's just hope we get something really bad. Okay, so let's go. Cascade. It's a land. It's a land. Ooh, that's oh, a, that, oh, no. a 5 mana spell, so I can't cast oh. that. Oh no. It's a land. land. This is a 3 mana spell. Alright, it is a... Tally Man of Nurgle. It's a creature. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna get it for free. So 2-3 Life Linker. At the beginning of my end step, if a creature died this turn, I draw a card and lose a life. Wow. Okay. If seven or more creatures die this turn, instead I draw seven cards and lose seven lives. Yo, wow. wow. That's crazy. That's a crazy That's card. Insane. That's a crazy <laughs> That's card. That's crazy. Okay, so the other three go to the bottom of my library. Yeah, I move to my end step. This I will uh, oh. react to your end step. Oh, oh no. I will tap two. No, I'm just I'm just cracking a bauble, guys. Oh, okay, okay, sure, <laughs> hey, sure, you know. sure. Okay, cool. And uh, I found my basic land. So now it's over to my turn. <laughs> Untap time, mana city. Uh, draw a card. I'm going to play a land. Uh, tap four. I'm going to play the Hedron Archive. So I'm going to take two for a nod for my artifact spell. Yep, non-creature spell. Boom, boom. Okay, so I will tap out and play the Triarch Stalker. <laughs> uh, the Triarch Stalker is a 4-5 artifact creature and he has a targeting relay. Uh, at the beginning of the combat of your turn, I can choose an opponent and creatures attacking the last chosen player have menace. Nice. So this affects all of you. Nice. Yes. So we can make public enemy number one. Yes, yeah? obviously it's this. Oh my gosh. Even though I can't attack, I'll still move to my combat phase right. uh, and then Oh, locking on, wow. locking on to Aaron. Yes. Things that attack him as menace. Nice. Very nice. I approve. It, it doesn't matter if I've, if I'm on the offensive, I don't have to worry about that being is defensive. True. That is true. And I end my turn. Yeah, now he's coming for you. <laughs> now he's coming for me. I'm gonna draw a card now. I think we need to put down blockers. That's what I think. Okay, I'm gonna tap two mana. <clears throat> To yeah. put down the Haru Specs, okay? Um, oh, Haru Specs. Haru okay. Specs, basically, he's a 2 2 creature. He has Rapacious Hunger. So, whenever another creature dies, I put a plus one, plus one counter on Haru Specs. Wow. So much mana and so much damage. Man, you know, Elliot, you, you're, you're kind of a. It come at me, ah! Target. You know what? You know what? I said I was going to offensive. I gotta live up to my name. You come, you come, you come. I'm gonna, yeah, go into the combat phase and attack Elliot okay, you know, the, the with the Exo Prime. It's only a. I think I can blow up his board next turn. So. Oh, wow, wow. Is that a threat? Just I will take. Eight damage, oh, wow. down to 25. Wow. Okay, and then uh, in my second main phase, I'm gonna tap two green mana to play Rampant Growth. Okay. So that'll allow me to search my library for a basic land card. I brought in a mountain, and then I'm gonna end my turn here. Okay, so let's untap these guys. Draw a card. I will play an Arcane Sanctum, comes in tapped. Right. We'll play three. And one island to bring in the Vanguard Suppressor. Has flying and suppressing fire. Whenever Vanguard Suppressor deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Wow, very cool. Strong. You know what? It looks like you're the only one that I can Wow, sort of... wow. For the Imperium, Aaron. Oh, Inquisitor the... Grief Fan. So you're using your, you're using your made up religion to attack me? <laughs> <laughs> Now it feels good. Now it feels good. Now it feels good. Now it feels good. Smite me with your religious. Smite you with my bleed. Uh, for sorry, for three. Three damage. Okay, for uh, three damage. Yeah. I'll take three damage. All right. Commander right. damage. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So um, yeah, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go to my turn. I'll untap and draw. So start by playing a land. It's a mountain. I'll tap five. Okay. And I will play a hell brute. Oh. It is a creature. Um. 5-4 with haste. What? <laughs> with haste? <laughs> Nasty! Oh my god! And um, if it dies, if it's in my graveyard, I can cast it by exiling another creature card from my graveyard and of course paying its mana cost. And yeah, I, I like to attack, so I'll go to combat. Hellbrute with haste will attack Mike. Oh god! <laughs> oh no! The heralds with flying will go at Elliot. The tallyman with lifelink will go at Aaron. And it gets menace because it's attacking you. Okay. Mike, you're taking five. All right. Aaron. I'm taking three. I take two, is it? Yes. 
And because of lifelink, I will gain two life. Oh, wow. Just, Somebody is kind of uh, I mean, high It's just two life. life. It's right. just two no. life. But you are way ahead of us. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I will pass. All right, it's time to untap. Time to draw. I'm going to draw a ton of cards this turn. Oh, there we go, baby. I'll play a swamp this turn. I'm going to play the Ghost Arc. Oh, this is a oh. vehicle that's 3-3. Three, three, uh, and when it crews up, uh, basically, you repair the barge. Whenever Ghost Arc becomes crude, each artifact creature in your graveyard gains Unearth 3 until the end of turn. Wow. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, in my discard, uh, in, my, in my graveyard, I don't have any artifact creatures. So it's just a 3 3 or so it's just turn. completely useless. It's, so completely, it's completely nothing. And uh, with that, I'll move to combat and. Uh, I'm moving the relay over <laughs> to Esmo. Why? How nice. stunning it was. I just, no, because you're completely open as well. I mean, I divided the damage. No, I was we did there. not forget what happened. I'm at 22, my man. <laughs> okay. yeah, mostly him. I'm going to pass the turn. Go ahead. I will draw my card. Woo! Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, I, I feel like I forgot to mention something. I think I need to take two from playing this. So when I cast Ghost Arc, I actually need to lose two health due to this stupid enchantment. Due to Aaron. Due to Aaron. Ugh. So now I'm gonna tap four mana. It's too cheaper because of Shadow in the Walk to play my Swarm Lord. So the Swarm Lord comes out with two plus one plus one counters on it. Nice. There's a targeting laser, you know? The bug, the bug sees the laser and then it's like, oh, that one, he jumps on it. So I'm gonna declare attacks. I'm gonna attack with both the Exocrine and the Haru Spec. So there's an 8-8 and a 2-2 coming at you. 10 damage. Even if he takes it, he's still higher than me. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I will take it. Oh, nice. And I will remind you that I split up the damage last turn. Okay, yeah. I will remember that now. Sorry, the turn is, they're not very smart. So, <laughs> like, so maybe next next turn, I might not split up the damage. Oh, 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 oh. oh. all right, right. Turn is are smart enough to understand a threat. Oh. <laughs> I wish I had more mana, so I'm going to pass. Play with it really? right now, it's like left. Ooh. Uh, yeah. All right, so it's a pretty good card. I'm going to play the uh, Arcane Signet. Oh, finally, ramping. Ramping. Finally. Oh, card. You gotta take two oh, damage. Pay the tax, the shadow and the warp tax. Yes. So minus two, right? Yes. It's two. Okay. Um, I will pay three to equip my Inquisitorial Rosette on the <laughs> Vanguard Suppressor. Nice. Okay, so going to combat right now. Bat. Aaron's at 27, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> <laughs> true that, true that. Okay, Esmond, let's go. Vanguard Suppressors at okay. you okay. and Inquisitor Grayfax on you. Right, Aaron? Okay, so that's a 4-2 flyer, and when it attacks, you get a 2-2 two, two okay, two, two white. 2-2 two, two white to start this one. Which is actually a 3-2. It comes in attacking already, and they're both coming at me. That's 7. What? This, what? What? This does not feel fair. <laughs> <laughs> Even I feel bad about this. <laughs> I don't. So I have no blocks, I'll take 7. Wow. Alright. I also declare no blocks, so I'm gonna have to take 3 commander damage. Yep. Oh. I'm at 18. Welcome to the club. <laughs> what club? We're at different clubs now. <laughs> I'm below 20. Oh! Uh, so, so I'm going to draw a card because Vanguard Suppressor just whacked his mint. Yeah. Okay, we're good. This is a... Mm -hmm. good That's stuff. it. I will draw. I see your Astartes Warrior. Uh-huh. I will send an Astartes Dreadnought at yeah. you. Okay. Like, what is it? It's a 5-4. Oh, okay. Would you like to block? So, I still have one untapped mana. And I tap it. Okay. To play swords to plowshares oh. and exile your hell brute. What? <laughs> you could exile anything else. Yeah. <laughs> There's an eight in over there. <laughs> okay, so hell brute is exiled. I will gain five. five life. Thank you. Oh no, I'm back to being the lowest <laughs> again. Oh, wow. Now we're in the same club. Yeah, now we're in the same. Well. Oh, when you cast swords to plowshares, you actually lose two life. Oh yes. <laughs> Hey, somebody, can someone remove this thing? That's what we <laughs> said, but he cast it! <laughs> You're in the colour pie to remove it? Actually, I can't right now though. I haven't been able to. It's okay, it's okay. Don't, don't feel bad, Mike. Don't feel bad about it. Seriously? On my second main phase, I will just tap 7. And I will cast my commander again. Oh, welcome back. Yep, so it costs 2 more for commander attacks, 7 uh, mana. And that's all I'm doing, of us. Uh, at the end of your turn, I am going to Tap one to sacrifice the Mind Stone. It's, it's done its job. Uh, and I'm going to draw a card. Come on, Elliot. Time to do something useful. And I'm going to tap two more <laughs> to destroy the Hedron Archive to draw two more cards. Have you not drawn anything useful? Yeah. <laughs> I have not drawn anything good at all. I am untapping. Oh, no. 
and I will draw a new card. Hey! Hey! What do you know? Hey, if you draw hey, enough hey. cards, you will get something. Good, good, good. <laughs> I will play a land for the turn. I am tapping six, and it's time to summon the Caged Sun. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. The Caged Sun is an artifact, and when it comes to the battlefield, uh, I'm going to choose a colour. I'm choosing black. Uh, no surprises there. And you also lose two life. Hey, man. Oh, wow. Small price to pay for <laughs> mana. Remember, uh, it's coming from Aaron. It is. Oh, yes. no, no, no. I no, always. No. I am just going to tap for four, and I'm going to play the Crypt Tech. Boop, boop. He is a Necron Wizard that is baseline 3-3, three, three, now a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, and his ability is one colorless and one black. Tap him, choose another target artifact creature you control. When that creature dies this turn, return it to the battlefield, tap under your control. I am starting to build my wall of uh, undiable creatures. But you're dying. But I am dying, so uh, that being said, I will not attack. Oh, but you move to combat. What? I move to combat. Yes. I move it to Mike. Oh, oh yes! Oh. The Vigilance creatures will now not be a problem, guys. Yes. Oh. And I will end my turn. Remember that. I said end my turn. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Aaron, over to you. And then I will draw my card. Wow. No, I still get the math wrong again. I need one more freaking mana to do this thing. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna do it. I'm going to play the Brood Lord. So it's going to be two less for Shadow in the Wall. So he just costs one colorless and one green. I'm going to choose X equals to four. So he'll come in with four Ravenous Counters. So I wanted five so that I could draw a card. Oh, Unfortunately, it's... <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to come in, uh, you know, with just four counters. When he enters the battlefield, you can distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of other target creatures you control. Wow. Yeah. So strong. So okay, so we're just gonna give it to Mr. Haru Specs. Just fall like that. Yep, just <laughs> smack it right on him. Uh, I'm going to move into the combat phase and I will opt Mike to is. attack Mike. Wow. Mike. We're gonna send the Exocrine. He's an 8-8 beast. With Menace now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, with Menace! Oh, with Menace? So you need to block with two guys. Oh, yeah. shit. You know what? This will not be forgotten. Wait, 8 damage? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? We both took 8 damage, right? <laughs> it's a rite of passage to be attacked by the Exocrine. That's true, that's true. We all took 8. You know what? Wait, it's gone you? around. So now, now it's time for you to stop it. Yeah. Stop yes, it. Stop Where's it. your swords to plowshares now? <laughs> <laughs> Elliot, I hope you warm the seat in the uh, 18... Uh, wow! Ooh, okay. Wow! Now the relay is going to shift. Okay. Trust me, trust yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, relay is going to shift. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now in my main second main phase, I am going to activate Devouring Monster. Oh, remove oh, uh, X counters. So I'm going to remove 4. Okay. So that gives me 4 green mana. Okay. And I'm going to play Tyranid Invasion. Create a number of 3-3 three, three green Tyranid Warrior Creature tokens with Trample. Equal to the number of opponents you have. So oh, three opponents. Okay. I'm gonna summon three. Okay, okay, that's not that. That's not the worst. That's three, not the worst. three. And I'm all tapped out, so you know. I'm vulnerable. I'm gonna end my turn here. Ah, <sighs> that feel good? It did, it did, it did. Come at me, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay, so drawing a card. Yes, gotta play this uh, paint. Nice. Here. So Let's bring the combat because let's bring the oh wow fight back to you. Yes, yeah. Attack him. Bring the war. Okay, so for 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 two red guard suppressor. Okay, and Why? you're gonna summon an Astartes warrior as well because of your. I am. Okay, so I'll bring one in. Yep, and it's also attacking uh, Aaron. He's a three-two with menace. I'm gonna declare blocks. So okay, I'm gonna declare two blockers. Okay. So okay. So these two a... blockers, the brood lord and the swarm lord. Okay. Okay, so damage happens. Your warrior dies. Yeah, so you take 4 damage. Mm -hmm. And I'll take 4 damage. Mm -hmm. And your thing triggers as well. I draw a card. <gasps> that's good, that's yeah, good. Card draw. Uh, with that, my rapacious hunger will trigger. Whenever another creature dies, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, and then I will tap... Actually, I'll tap all my mana to bring in Defenders of Humanity. So it's... Oh, okay. X is 4. Okay. When Defenders of Humanity enters the battlefield, create X-2-2 two, two white Astartes warrior creature tokens oh. with Vigilance. Oh. 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 Okay, so you have you have 5 tokens in total. Yes, 5 Astartes warriors. That represents wow. 15 power. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'll draw for turn. Okay. It's time to make some deals, I think. So I'm willing to trade some life in exchange for some favors. I don't know. How about 2 life? 
Uh, yeah, I, I don't mind sacrificing two life. Okay, so I'll hit you for two and you don't block, right? That's yeah. what we're saying. I'm that. good for two. I'm good for two. Well, what do you want to do? I just want to cast spells and cascade. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing, I've agreed to this, but let's let's do it, man. Let's do it. All right, so I'll move the combat. Um, I'll send two damage at Aaron with the uh, Kelly Man. <laughs> and uh, the Heralds with flying will ah, go at Mike. Me? It has menace because of his targeting Shit. laser. Ah. Okay, I'll declare no blocks since that was a deal. Thank you. How much was this, right? Three damage. Three? Okay, so I'll take three then. Yep. Wow. What have I done? And then I'll gain two. Oh, crap. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna actually it's quite risky, but I will tap two mana with my power stone. And first of all, I will cast a talisman of dominance. So it's just a mana rock, it taps for colorless or blue or black. Um, but importantly, my commander will trigger. So because my opponents have lost a total of five life this turn, this costs two mana, which is less than five, so it will gain cascade. This is your first non-creature spell. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have to check. <laughs> yes, that is my first known creature as well. Okay. So I will lose two. Someone remove this card. Alright, okay. so I'm going to cascade off the talisman. Yeah. So I'll find something that's cost one mana or less. Ooh. Which is a non-land card. Ooh. That's a six mana card. It's a land, land. One or less? Oh, ooh, wow. Alright, we found a one. Yeah, it's a Nurgle's Rot. It's an enchantment aura. Enchant creature and opponent controls. When that creature dies, return this card to its owner's hand and I create a 1-3 black demon creature token. Okay, mm, so I will really cast good. it for free and I will target... I can, I can, I can make a deal with you. If you I put mean, it something you want to die... I mean, you want the 8-8 to die, right? I want the 8-8 to die, 100%. So, okay, so let's make that die then. Okay. <laughs> so I will enchant your en endocrine. Right. And he's going to kill it later. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Right, okay, so these uh, these other cards go at the bottom of my library. Okay. And then continuing to cast stuff, I will tap 5, and I will cast Magnus the Red. Oh. So it's a 5 mana 4, 5 flying oh. demon. Oh. Instant and sorcery spells I cast cost 1 less to cast for each creature token I control, which is 0. And then whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I get a 3-3 three, three creature token. So because it's 5 mana or less, Abaddon will trigger again. And I will gain Cascade. Oh, Cascade. So you need to find a 4. Yes, yeah, so 4 or less. It is. 4. Blood Crusher of Corn. It's another demon. 3-3 uh, three, three, Trample. Other creatures I control have Trample. Wow. Everything has Trample? That's yeah, that's it. That's it? Okay. okay, so that was not too bad, I think. Not too bad. Uh, okay. uh, thanks, Aaron, for wow. taking that 2 damage. I don't, I don't know why I took that 2 damage and then I got the Nurgle's Rock. <laughs> but you know, life is like that. Yeah, go ahead. I will untap. I will draw for turn. This is not, not my day. Uh, I'm going to play a swamp. Another swamp. More swamps. But uh, the good side of this is that I get to tap this for 8. <laughs> Tapping 4 lands for 8. And I will play the Technomancer. Beep boop. Oh, oh that's, so the that, guy. that's that the guy. That costs 7 mana. Yeah, it okay. costs 7 mana. So I have 1 floating still. I'm going to mill 3 cards off the top of my deck. Then number is Legion, oh, wow. the Resurrection Orb, and Convergence of Dominance. None of them being legal targets for this. <laughs> Goes back in so here. So you, you have artifact creatures? Yeah, you can bring um, the answer is nada. <laughs> so with the one floating mana, I will tap four more. I will bring back Ooh. the Silent King. Oh, you need five more actually. Oh yes, yeah. cost 6 total, so one oh, yeah. My guys are huge, they all get plus 1, plus 1 from Cage Sun. So you should attack. Oh, I'll move to combat to change my targeting relay first. Okay, sure. Oh, thank you. So, I need to, oh, I'm very fair, I'm moving it over here yeah. to Esmond. <laughs> yep, and I'm going to attack only Esmond with the tryout strong Huh. Yeah. So it's a 4-5? It's a 5-6 It's actually, a 5-6. Because of Cage Sun. With Menace. With Menace. You know what? I'll go down to the 18 club, I Welcome guess. Welcome to the 18 club, baby! Alright, I'll take, I'll take the fight. And I'm still lower life than you all. I am done with the turn for now. Wait, wait, you have to... I will, oh, don't worry about that, my friend. <laughs> don't you... Uh, hey, don't you worry, what's buddy! Going on? I'm very worried, actually. Don't exactly. Get, okay, uh, uh, done untapping. I will draw a card. Temple of Mystery. Okay. So, Temple of Mystery enters the battlefield tapped. And when it enters the battlefield, scry one. Woo-wee! Alright, we'll leave that there. What, what noise was that? 
feel like Mike is the what threat. What the heck? Leader. Yes, I do. I agree with you. What the heck, yes. man? He's got like, menace. What the heck? What? And vigilance. <laughs> I, I'm going to move to the combat phase and uh, I, I'm going to declare an attack. War? War! This is war. Really. We, we're literally playing decks called Warhammer. I'm going to declare an attack on Mike with the Exo Prime. Let's do it. He's an 8-8. Okay. Okay. So the whole reason is that I, want, I don't mind. As yeah, as I don't mind. Yeah, I don't oh mind. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah. What is this? The deal is with you. The deal is with you. The deal is with you. You know, he's hungry. It doesn't have trample, so it's You could fine. kill it, you could yeah. use three of them to block. Your last are used to you and then block her. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So all three will die. So two left, right? So three Astartes warriors stride into battle against my Exocrine. Okay, okay so your Exocrine dies, yes. and when it dies, Nurgle's Rot will trigger. Ooh. So this card will return to my hand, right. and I will create a 1-3 black demon called the Plague Bearer of Nurgle. Oh. Who's a threat now? He's a nasty boy. Who's a threat now? It's a 1-3. Another thing that resolves will be the Haruspex's rapacious hunger. Oh, yeah. So he sees all these dead bodies, he's gonna eat them up, and then there was a three Astartes that died, hey, man. and one of his buddies. So that's a total of four counters. He's gonna go up I to five you. counters. So actually, when my Exocrine died, I had Xenos cunning on my Swarm Lot. So whenever a creature I control with a counter on it dies, I draw a card. Okay. I'm gonna use the Devouring Monster, remove five counters, get five green mana. And then I'm gonna get one more from my forest. I'm gonna put in a Tyrant Guard for X equals five. I can sacrifice Tyrant Guard. Creatures that I control with counters on them gain hexproof and indestructible until wow. the end of the turns. And it's ravenous, so if X is five or more, I draw a card. Okay. Okay, okay. Very strong. Next, I'm gonna tap five more mana and I'm gonna play a Winged Hive Tyrant. This is a 4-4 creature with flying and haste and it has the will of the hive mind. Other creatures that I control with counters on them have flying and haste. What? Alright, and then uh, I'll end my turn there. Um, I'm good, I'm good. I'll Gucci. kill that, I'll kill that. Yes, <laughs> it's about time, Elliot. Yes, he's tapped out, he's tapped out. No, leave me alone, Elliot. No, I'm just gonna kill it right now, before things get too crazy. Yes! I'm gonna oh, go, no. I'm gonna go for the throat. Uh, wow. Destroy target non-artifact creature. Nice. Uh, goodbye, Wing Tyrant. It was... <laughs> you do get a trigger though. Right, the Horror Specs gets the trigger. Yeah. Yay, so and the Horror Specs will get his rapacious hunger. And Elliot also loses two life. I did it for the greater good. Yes. And let's draw a card, come on! Oh, it's an island. Okay. <laughs> um, no, 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 look there, look there. Look there. <laughs> okay, hitting you with my Vanguard Suppressor, Aaron. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess, four, two. I guess that's how we're gonna do it. That's how we are doing it. Right. I also want to draw a card. So when, when it attacks? <laughs> uh, I create a 2-2 two, two white Astartes Warrior creature token with Vigilance that's attacking as well. Yep. One more little dude. It's gonna die. It's gonna I'm die. just gonna <laughs> declare a block with my, my Broodlord and my... Tyrant Guard. Okay. Alright, and that's gonna give me a counter here with its death. And mm -hmm. I will take how much damage? Four. Four. Ouch. Okay. Ow. And I draw a card. Yep. It's so dangerous. Wow. You know what? I will. Yeah. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Pass the turn? <laughs> what? Look at all my mana. With eight mana. Look at all my mana. Okay, I just want to see. Draw for turn. Yes, sir. So we have to deal with. What's the worst thing now? The this, worst this thing is bad. That this is thing is bad. terrible. It gets indestructible. And hexproof. And hexproof. Yeah. So we should kill Aaron. No, no. <laughs> Why? Why do you want to kill me? Alright, alright. Let's go straight to combat. I'll have you know oh, that yeah. I'm, I'm ready to die. I'm ready to take some damage. Yeah, I would like to deal like two damage to you. If, you, if you have a three attacker, yes, I'll gladly give it to you. Because I will block. And then you can trample over me. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I don't mind if my creature dies. So the 3-3 three, three trample at Elliot and I'll send the two flyers at Aaron. Oh wow, how much damage is that? So that's total of uh, 7 damage. So I will have to activate an ability first. I will tap oh, 2. I forgot about that. Oh, and you I will tricked tap me, you tricked the cryptic. me. <laughs> so cryptic's ability is to choose another target artifact creature you control. When that creature dies this turn, return it to the battlefield tapped under your control. Wow. So I will choose the Technomancer. Tricks. And um, uh, so we go to damage? We go to damage. Yep, my yeah. Blood Crusher will crash into your thing. Yes, he will die. Uh, Aaron takes seven. Oh, down to seven. Oh my goodness. So there was a total of one, two death. Yep, two creatures died. So I'll get two counters. Yes. Sir. And then when does that come back? When it dies. Yeah, so when it dies, it oh, comes back. Oh, it just back. comes back tapped. So, and when it enters the battlefield, I will do the same thing once again. Yep. Milling three. One, Lane. two, 
and three. Well, more lands, uh, who, know, who knew? But I actually have my first artifact creature in the graveyard, <laughs> the Psychomancer. So the Psychomancer comes in, and whenever Psychomancer or another non-token artifact you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, or is put into exile, target opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Uh, also on combat damage, Magnus the Red will create a 3-3 Red Spawn Creature Token. Ooh, wee! Nasty. So, in total, um, my opponents have lost 9 life this turn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I will tap 6 mana, and I will cast Mortarion, the Demon Primark. Oh, cool! Oh my god. Wait, That's you know so who cool. he is? Yes, he's, oh. a, he's a demon He's the Primark. Primark. He's the Primark. <laughs> he's the biggest baddie, He's basically. the biggest baddie, yeah. Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah. Cool. Dude is cool. So he has a ability Primark of the Death Guard. At the beginning of my end step, I can pay X. If I do, make X 2 2 Black Astarte Warriors oh. with Menace. Mm. Oh, so he must lose life. He must take some damage. Yeah. Because it is only 6 mana and you guys have lost 9 life, my commander will trigger and I will cascade. So we'll find something with 5 mana or less. Oh, there we go. The Great Unclean One. <gasps> That's another big point. I don't know, Elia, what have you done? It. Guys, I don't know what you, you've done, Elia. You've created a monster. Yeah, sure you, yeah. What have you done? Exactly. You've got to deal with that, okay? I will deal with it. Are you going to deal with all that? How the heck are you going to deal with that? You summon the great unclean one. Yeah. What it does it do? What it does it do? It doesn't do much. So at the beginning of my end step, each oh. opponent loses two life. What? That's it. Then for each opponent that, that has less life, I just make another... Plague Bearer of Nurgle. We'll get rid what of the it. Heck? That's it, that's, that's it. That's everybody do That's it. everybody and he's gonna create this thing. Get They're it. one threes, guys. Yeah, chill. I'll kill him. Continuing from that, I will tap one red mana. Wow, what is he doing? And I will cast Chaos Warp. So it causes two mana less because I have two creature tokens right. from Magnus the Red. And I will target your Tyrant Guard. Oh, so wow. You get, you get a free wow. summon. You get a free summon of something. Yeah. But on the cast, I will lose two life. Ah, uh, okay, well, let's let's see what happens. Okay, so shuffle it back we in. We roll the dice. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's see what we get. We're gonna get a freaking land, is what we're gonna get. Look at how little land we have out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. Top card. Top non -land. card. Non land. Oh, it's a land. <laughs> what no. it? And finally, I will tap this for black. I'll Still lose one you. life, and I will cast the Nurgle's Rot. Oh, okay. Yep. On what? You know what? I'm just gonna continue targeting Eren. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and put it on one of your warriors. Nice. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yep. What okay. Tiny guy. So um, I also have Cascade from that. I don't know if there's a zero cost. zero cost card, but I guess we have to. So basically, you guys get to see my whole deck. Okay. So we have confirmed. <laughs> oh my god. Then the precon has nothing. Then the precon has no zero <laughs> mana cards. <laughs> Pro tip, don't cascade the zero. <laughs> so but, no, but I, I, get the shuffle, I get the shuffle. Which is pretty good, which is yeah. pretty good. Okay, and then we move to the end step. So I have two triggers. Uh, I'll resolve the great unclean one first. At the beginning of my end step, each opponent loses two life. Alright. Same thing. Then because all three of you have less life than me, I will get three plague bearers of Nurgles. Oh my. Uh, so my next trigger. Uh, at the beginning of my end step, if a creature died this turn, I draw a card and lose a life. So, my creature died this turn, yeah. so I will draw a card and lose a life. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to do What do you want to do, Mike? I want to do, no, I want to... We're going to kill Everything's him. Everything's going to kill him. I'm going <laughs> to... Because... No. Okay, no, I'll even if I don't kill him, thought, yeah. we're gonna go down in blazing flames. <laughs> well, I'm prepared. I'm, I just a, I'm super a fireball. worried when like more stuff comes out. It's just like, a one three. Just but one they're, three. they're useless against useless. your guys. They're literally yeah, useless. Gonna, yeah. I'm, prepared. I'm prepared. I'm prepared to. Okay. My stuff is useless. I will draw a card. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play a land for the turn. <laughs> <laughs> but the suspense is killing me. <laughs> so. Aaron, unfortunately, oh. Oh, oh. I am oh, no. coming at you. Oh, Elia is nasty. One. He's gonna just leave the great unclean one to kill me. <laughs> this guy is horrendous. He's gonna, <laughs> he's, gonna leave me at two. he's gonna leave me at two so that I have to die to the great unclean one. So I'm gonna crew up the ghost arc. I will hit, go to combat, leave the laser over there, and these three, fly, uh, three, three flyers are going at you. Oh, I'm dead then. So, oh god, Aaron. And I will have to trigger um, the Silent King by milling three off the top of my deck. Uh, I get to pick a 
artifact oh, creature wow. or a vehicle and put them in my hands. Wow, they're all hits. They're all hits. Finally, 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 yeah, finally, finally. Hits. Yeah. Uh, I will be taking the Necron Overlord and then the rest of them, goodbye. So, seven damage. I'm dead, Elliot. You've killed me. I'm... The Necrons do not see <sighs> race. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I've been destroyed and turned it so oh, has been, been destroyed. We couldn't remove the enchantment, so we removed the so player. So I removed the player. Yeah, yeah. And I needed yeah. to do that actually because in my second main phase, I would like to play a sorcery spell that I was hiding nicely in my graveyard. Oh no. Oh. I'm gonna be playing spell? their number is Legion. So this oh, has a four goodness. base of uh, black, so I will tap two for that. Um, and everything else is going to be tapped as well. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 15. X is 15. X oh equals 15. Uh huh. Um, and with these 15, create 15 tapped 2 2 black Necron warrior artifact creature tokens. Then gain life equal to the number of artifacts you control. Gain life? Exile, their number is Legion. So. Hang on a second. So is that a what? You have a counter spell? Just play what, it now. What card is that? <laughs> it's a sorcery. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, I see. oh no. Yes. Yes. Oh so, no. So. With my eight untapped mana. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I will spend one island and five four colorless. Wow. Wow, what on earth? To bring in the sister of silence. Yep. Counter target instant spell. And with her psychic oh, abomination. Spell. Activated ability. Oh, sorcery. Sorcery, oh, sorcery spell. Okay. Or triggered ability. Activated ability oh, okay. or triggered. Nice! Holy Woo! moly! But if, if that's done, it my. doesn't get exiled, right? Yeah, it doesn't resolve. So, so it, goes it just back goes, to goes back to my graveyard. Okay. You stopped me. I, I did stop you. For today. <laughs> now we have to kill him. Once he gets that, we're, we're dead. We're no, dead. Yeah, we're we're dead. dead. He's going to win the whole thing. Get. Okay, well, that is the end of my turn. So, not forgetting what you just tried to do to us, uh, Elliot. Um, let's tap your 5 6. Uh, Alright, the tryout stalker is now tapped. Okay. Right. Uh, so, that Inquisitor makes a clue token when you tap it down. Yes, that's right. Okay, so I will um, use my clue token right now. Sacrifice the artifact. And draw a card. Very nice. Right? Now I'm feeling very vulnerable. Right, I draw another card. This is the sub my Start of right? your So that's uh, four. I'll bring in the Ultramarines Honor Guard. Oh my god. So I can also spend two of any number <laughs> of times. Sick. When this creature enters the battlefield, create that many tokens that are copies of it. Yep. I do have, you should spend it. for it. Yeah. I have another four here, right? Okay. So this is two, two, so it's four. Is so it you four? get two copies. Two copies of this guy. Okay. Right? Okay. So you have a total of three of them. So all the creatures are getting plus four, plus three right now. And they all have menace when you attack. Wait, so what, what do you have not tapped? I have two of these big boys right here. Basically, you can kill Elliot. You could, but... but you, should. you should. He's gonna gain you like 25 should. life next turn. As a dead person who is impartial, <laughs> you should kill him. That is true, that is true. Only I... because he killed you, right? Uh, that too. <laughs> okay, so I guess the might of the Imperium... Oh! oh. The might of the Imperium. <laughs> the might of the Imperium. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to combat. Are you ready? I'm not. To face the might of the Imperium? You know your natural enemy is actually Chaos, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just want to say lore-wise, this lore doesn't wise. make sense. Yeah. And it is a 6-5 for Starter's Warrior and a 7-5. So you're Vanguard well, Suppressor. When it attacks, he makes another warrior. Yes, you make another warrior first. Yeah. Uh, we're going to block out the... Freshly born Astarte's Warrior. Okay. So that... That's all I can do actually. Yep, so damage. When damage resolves, I will take... 13 damage. 13 damage and everything dies. So I draw a card because uh, the Vanguard Suppressors did a really good job yep. and dealt damage, dealt the killing blow. sick. I am done and I do not tap because they all have Vigilance. Yes, they do. <laughs> all right, let's I will this. draw. I'll play my sixth land for turn, which is Temple of the False God. I can tap it for two colorless because I control five or more lands. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 10, 14. I think I have it. Lah. Okay, let's go. What I'll do is I will tap 4 mana and I will cast Past in Flames. Oh, sorry, it only costs 2 mana actually mm -hmm. because of Magnus the Red. So each instant sorcery card in my graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. So I will cast Chaos Warp. Oh! 1 mana. Wow. Oh! oh. And oh. I am going to get rid of your flyer. No! Let's hope that you get a big fatty. Yeah, so you shuffle it back in and then reveal the top card of your deck. And then Chaos Warp gets exiled. Right. Alright, so top reveal card. It. Yep. Reveal it. It's a land! Yes! It's a choked estuary! 
As choked estuary enters the battlefield, you may reveal an island or swamp card from your hand. Oh, Rich, do you have one? Let me see. No, I don't. Okay, so it comes in tapped. <laughs> don't worry, wouldn't have. It, oh yeah, yeah. You I couldn't, couldn't even. I can't even. I can't even. Yeah, you can't even activate it. Okay, so I'll, move, right. I'll move to combat. Okay, let's go. Everything attacks. I have three flyers here. So this is 9, 10, 11, 12 damage already. Oh, so if you take one damage, you die. Yes. I believe that you can only block these seven creatures, which will leave one damage here. What? I think that's the game. Wait, see, this is it. I told you. The one one oh, it's just one one. It's <laughs> but you enough. killed me. That's the whole difference. <laughs> You're okay. tapped out. You got I'm nothing else. Out. I've got nothing. I'm tapped out. So that's I think that's damage. the game. I think that's the game. All right, good game, guys. Good game. game. <laughs> yes. oh. Very good. Well played. Well played. So well played. I hate yeah. you. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Good game. Yeah, good game. Right, burning guys. the galaxy down. Yes. So well played. So well played. Thank you. Good game, Mike. Okay. Alright guys, so that is it for another episode of Quintessential Commander. This was honestly super, super epic. Like, I really enjoyed seeing all the decks work. And cascading, of course, is broken. That's why I chose this deck. Uh, I had a ton of fun uh, playing the Silent King. Honestly, the ability was sick. Playing stuff on the graveyard felt great. I, I got a lot of swamps at the start, but when, it, when the puzzle came together, I was about to do something epic. You and did? You tried it. You I tried, tried it. Yeah. it. But okay. it didn't work out. But all more, I had so much fun trying to build this army together. Honestly, you felt like the Silent King. You were just really telling people who to attack. You're like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I felt manipulated. Yeah. <laughs> As I was, I was like one of the little Tyranid grunts with like the the hive mind had lost, kind of lost control of. But yeah, playing playing the Tyranid deck was super epic. So I think the thing that I really enjoyed about the Tyranid deck is it gives you the feel of summoning these huge, gigantic creatures. Where I was beating everybody in the face. It was a crazy. Bit of it was a, too much, of a, man. Of a, political issue at the start causing like everybody to attack me <laughs> but you know what Tyranids just do Tyranid things we're supposed to like devour that's our whole thing yeah. ravenous yeah. ravenous yeah, yeah. Uh, I got to say that the Imperium started real slow if you remember all I had was like five lands yeah. guys right um, but then it's because your army is just so incredibly powerful especially when you bring them in um, and my favorite moment has got to be when I foiled Elliot's like Big muscle. Yeah, that was epic. Oh, that was, that was epic. Crazy. So the pro tip here, guys, is is to always hold on to your sister of silence card, yeah. also, and just uh, yeah, just wait for those moments to happen. All right. Yeah. So that's it. I hope all of you enjoyed watching this video. As usual, please leave a comment down below. What do you think of this game? What should we play next? Uh, would you like to see any of them appearing more on this show? Let us know and like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>